So attorneys for a Nassau County father accused of killing three family members are expected in court today. William Broyles facing now three counts of second degree murder. Investigators say that he shot and killed his wife and also his two adult children inside of their Callahan home three weeks ago. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is at the courthouse this morning and Ashley Broyles mental state of course will be a big focus of today's meeting. Melanie and Vic, good morning to you both. Yes, that is what's expected to happen this morning. And it's just going to be William Broyles' attorneys here in inside the courthouse. That hearing is going to start in a little less than 30 minutes. Now, we know that William Broyles was placed on suicide watch after his arrest. And his lawyer did file a notice saying that Broyles is showing signs of incompetence and that he was being evaluated. Now, I want to show this to you. This is video showing William Broyles at his first court appearance earlier this month. You see them, him there. He was wearing a green and anti-suicide smock. This will likely be the last time we see him physically before a judge, at least for the time being. And that is because the judge has already granted his attorney's request to waive court appearances. Now, Burles' attorneys have also written not guilty plea to the three counts of second degree murder. And this is video showing the family's home in Callahan. This is just hours after that shooting. Now, details revealing what Broyles said to Nassau County deputies had been redacted from his arrest report. But when he was asked why he didn't just shoot himself, the sheriff said Boyles responded by saying he was too scared to do that. Now, before the killings, Boyles served as director of music at Hodges Boulevard Presbyterian Church. And according to the church's website, he had been happily married to his wife, Candace, and had three grown children. His son, Aaron, and daughter, Kara, were killed in the attack. Now, the couple has an older son who was not living at the home and was not there when it happened. Once again, Boyles' arraignment is scheduled for 8.30 this morning, so in a little less than 30 minutes, about 20 minutes rather, News for Jacks will be inside the courtroom. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.